say we get into a wrestling tie up here. See, because now I'm more of inside of a wrestler's world. The other one was more of a defensive tactic. And this one's like, say, I finish a guillotine here. Okay, I usually do it with the inside tie up. And I tie up on the head. Okay, so what happens is, is if, if I can't pull his head down too, right? Say, I'm pulling his head down and uh, it's not coming. Then I'm gonna use the inside trip. Okay, and just, and just throw him down. But now let's say he doesn't want to bring me that back leg when I pull him. So say you keep a base. If he doesn't bring me that back leg, then I just pull his head down and push the choke. Okay. But let's say he wants to keep his head up. So now he brings me his back leg, see? And then now just take it to take down. So there's two moves like from stand-up, you know, I like to use a lot. One's from the tie-up. One the other one's more of a defensive move now. Say we tie up now, okay, and then this guy's really good from tie up, so now he gets behind me, no problem. So now I gotta have something else. Say like he's not real strong with the tie up. Now we tie up, okay? I use my inside hook, snap him down, and then finish with a choke. Sometimes the guy, you know, I could jump the guard from here and finish like that, but if you have it tight, you know, and you, and you apply the choke right, the guy, you know, sometimes you just finish from. Right here, or I also like to, uh, when I go from here, I'll pull his head down, I'll go for the choke, right? And if I have a, a wall or a fence, I push him into the fence or the wall, okay, and then I push, like a fist here, and I finish the choke just like this. Okay, it gives me a lot of leverage, so I'm just gonna force this up against the rope, or the fence, or if you're in a bar, or some, you know, there's a wall, self-defense, a lot of times, you know, they'll use that to try and, you know, throw And you don't want to get thrown into a wall or underneath a, a table or, you know, around chairs and stuff. So when you apply the... Yeah, okay, so we're going to start from a tie-up, though. So you'll tie, you'll tie up with me, tie up with my head or something. And I want, I want the inside tie. Some people call this the under C or an underhook or that's a, um, I just call it an inside tie-up or an underhook. Okay, and then I tie up on his head, too. And uh, so from right here, um, I'm able to pull his head down. Because this, this leg's back. So let's say he wants to keep his head up. And then, yeah, so you'll put that foot forward. Or I'll still be able to pull this leg toward me. Okay, but if I can't, you know, if I, if, if I can't pull this leg toward me, then I'm going to be able to pull your head down. Okay, so that's, real, that's a real good fundamental trick right there. And so once I pull his head down, then I'm going to go over with my arm. Okay, and I grab the choke, make a fist here. Okay, then I'm going to lose my underhook and go right to the, right to the, uh, right to my choke here. Instead of grabbing the wrist though, I'm gonna push my hand, my, the bottom of my fist, okay? And then I'm gonna push it straight into the wall or, or into the rope, just like that. And I'm gonna try to flex my bicep and push at the same time. And I hunch over, making sure his head's not gonna pop out of here, okay? Keeping it real tight, pushing with my right leg, okay? You can see uh, Jeremy Horn got choked with that. He actually got choked again with it too. I was really disappointed. On his last fight in the UFC, but uh, he lost like that against uh, uh, Ebenezer Braga in the UFC a long time ago, and that's when I started using that choke from watching that. Wow. And it worked for me really well. I noticed a lot of other people don't do it. But, you know, you have your traditional guillot guillotine like like this kind of, you know, and you could jump to guard or, or, you know, however you like to finish. Okay, and then a lot of times I like to use this one. So I sag down a little bit, make the fist, make the make the uh, uh, strong flex with the bicep, okay, and then push push on the bottom of my fist straight, straight into the wall or to the rope, okay, just keep everything real strong and tight here.